Hi, I'm Vaughn Palmer here at the BC Legislature with my colleague Rob Shaw and the House is not sitting at the moment. What's going on behind us is actually one of the tour groups that comes through here and Queen Victoria is talking to them at the moment and if you uh, look over our shoulders you might also hear what? Amor de Cosmos uh, often speaks to the group as well so there you go. A little BC history here at the ledge. Um, what can we talk about Rob? We've got the big housing tax kicked in on Tuesday of this week. I guess a lot of last minute excitement at the land registry. Yeah, no kidding. There's uh, almost 15,000 land title uh, registrations in the last couple of days before the, uh, the tax came in, the last business days anyways. Uh, showing that people were trying to get in under the wire. Continues to be all sorts of stories out there about the different unintended consequences of the tax. Uh, you know, people affected. However, as we spoke about last week, I think government is pretty much yeah. okay with the idea that they're going to get a little bit of uh, bad press about foreign buyers what? whose deals fall through for the political gain. What have the BC Liberals ever done that got a 90% approval rating <laughs> on uh, in, a, in an opinion poll? I think what that tended to confirm it was long overdue, uh, and they're and they're certainly going ahead with it in spite of all the talk about uh, legal challenges and things like that. And there probably will be legal challenges. Uh, one of the things we'll be watching this month is that the government says it can track the sales in real time. So they will be putting out updates regularly. If the sales shift to places that aren't taxed, like here in Victoria or some of the outer suburbs in Vancouver, I think you might see the boundaries extended on the tax. And the other thing that's interesting about this, I thought, Rob, was you came up with a story this week on a kind of a, something that fell off the side of the table uh, when the Liberals decided to go ahead with a tax without completing their research. Yeah, it's an old study back uh, from a year ago, in almost an era when the Liberals thought they had all the time in the world to handle this file. They were going to study it to death, come up with solutions before the election. So instead they've moved ahead with this tax before their marquee study into foreign buyers is finished. That was by BC Housing. It started in February and the opposition pointed out this week, well that's kind of a waste of taxpayer money to study something and then bring in your solution before it's even done. The government says, well we might be able to find a use for it still, <laughs> but it does give you an indication. Are there no doorstops? <laughs> uh, are there no nothing to feed the shredders? I love the fact that they won't even admit that they wasted the money on it. They're insisting it may still be of some use. Um, well, I maybe in, in expanding the borders, or I, I don't know, but it gives an indication of how quickly the government moved. moved and how quickly they abandoned that line that they needed yeah. months to study the data. In the end, they just picked whatever data was there when they wanted to act, and that was the justification yeah. to go. So um, various politicians will be taking uh, the... August is often a quiet month politically, and various politicians will be taking time off. The Premier took a little bit of time off, should be back. Uh, most of the opposition politicians as well. Uh, so we're expecting a quiet month other than the real estate data. One thing that kind of there's, because an election's coming, the Premier and the Leader of the Opposition have both asked members of their caucus to tell them by the end of August. If they're running again, they have to go out and find other candidates. If they don't run, that sets up a busy fall for us. What, we've got probably um, a cabinet shuffle at mm -hmm. some point. Might be early, might be after Labor Day. We're still hearing this big housing action plan. So to, to, to increase the housing supply, when do you think we might see that? Well, as the housing minister, Rich Coleman, put it, it's a, quote, really cool plan that he's been working okay. on for some time. But basically, I think it'll be possibly timed around UBCM. It's going to have to involve the municipalities and sending them to go big on density, on the transit lines, moving, using some of the... Moving stuff through the pipeline. That's right, faster getting rid of the red tape, using some of the foreign buyer tax revenue that government is going to be raking in by the millions and millions of dollars. So that's certainly going to be, as the government puts it, a really big part of their continual housing plank. And the Union of BC Municipalities has their annual convention here in the capital uh, toward the end of September. I also think this will be a little more incentive oriented, like they'll try to get, they'll tell municipal, municipalities there's money there to build social housing, more social housing, low income housing, if they get going on it. So they kind of get the municipalities competing with each other for provincial dollars. I think there'll probably be a fair amount of money put out for it. Uh, for one thing, they'll be taking some of the money they get from this tax and clearly they'll be getting some money from that. Mm -hmm. They set up a fund too, right? $75 million. Special dollars housing fund, as you yeah. pointed out, not a lot of rules on how they could spend it, but they have said publicly yeah. on housing. Other things we're watching for, uh, we're gonna have maybe decisions on 
Kinder Morgan on LNG. We might have a climate plan from government out. I think we'll get that. There's a lot of things in the next month or so, and then in the fall, it really starts to take off. Question of whether we sit here in the legislature, Vaughn? Yeah, the the last day of the summer session, the Speaker of the Legislature, Linda Reid, said, well, we'll see you in the fall as she adjourned the House. Uh, Yes, technically, there is a fall session of the legislature on the schedule starting October the 3rd. I think most members aren't expecting the House will sit this fall. I think the government's done most of the legislation they're going to do. From now on, it's just going to be good news announcements and writing checks and hoping no little crises come along. But we'll be back to talk to you again, and thanks for watching us.